Can you show me some of your dance moves? Absolutely. I'd be delighted to show you some groovy dance moves. Hello, and welcome to our tutorial about how to integrate a Reillusion character into a Unity project. We'll be covering how to prepare your character in Character Creator 4, import the character into Unity 3D, apply lip sync, and add animations. Let's get started. Open the CC4 project with the convey character loaded. We'll make some minor changes to this character. First, we'll give the character blend shapes for lip sync. Select actor and then facial profile from the menu, and then simply drag the CC4 extended facial profiles onto your character. You can review the blend shapes and then click apply. This will give the character all the blend shapes we need. Go ahead and save the project. Next, we'll add the animations that we want to add to our character. Click on the animation folder and type the animation that you're looking for. Here, we'll start with talk. In order to add an animation, right click on the animation of your choice and click find file. We'll need the file location, so go ahead and copy the file path. Now click on motion, scroll up to perform and select perform list editor. Now click add, paste in the file location of the animation you want, select it and click open. This will add it to the perform list editor. Now exit out of the perform list editor. Now let's add animations for walk, idle, and dancing. After saving the project, let's go ahead and export our character. To do that, click on the FBX icon and select Clothed Character. Okay, from the drop-down menu, select Unity 3D. Make sure that FBX options is set to Mesh and Motion. Next, click on Custom and then the Load Perform button to load all of the animations. Be sure to uncheck First Frame in Bind Pose. Then you'll want to check Export Mesh in Motion individually and save one motion per file. Finally, click on Export and then OK. I'll create a new folder on my desktop called Convey MPC Kevin. I'll give the file the same name and click Save. This will export the animations and character. Now we can head over to Unity. Open up a new Unity project and we'll go ahead and set up Convey. If you need help adding Convey to Unity, please see our other videos on this topic. We'll need to paste in our API key from Convey. I already have copied mine from the website, so I'll paste it in here and click Begin. To check that your Convey API key was added correctly, click on the Resources folder and check for a scriptable object called Convey API key. Now that Convey is set up, we'll need to import Auto Setup for Reillusion into our Unity project. Before you import Reillusion Auto Setup, make sure that you don't have Auto Setup already present in the Convey package. You can do this by checking for Reillusion in the top menu bar, and under the Plugins for the project, the CC Unity Tools folder tells you that Auto Setup is already present. Note that if you need to change this version, for example, if you're using a GRP or a URP project, then you'll need to delete this folder before you install the new plugin. So we'll go ahead and do that in this case. Now that Reillusion has been deleted, we'll import the new version from the Reillusion website. In your browser, head over to the link shown. We'll include that in the description below. Next, click on the download button and select the most appropriate version for you. For this tutorial, since we're using a standard Unity project pipeline, we'll select 3D Latest Release. This will open up the GitHub page on the latest CC Unity tools. Here we'll download the source code as a zip file, which will download the latest plugin. Now just extract that file to a folder of your choice. Back in Unity, let's import that package by clicking on Window and Package Manager. In the Package Manager, click on the plus icon and choose Add Package from Disk. Navigate to the folder where you extracted the zip file and click on the package.json file and select open. Unity will then import the file which may take a moment. Now that Character Creator Unity Tools has been imported, close out the package manager. Now we'll import our character. Click on the assets folder and let's create a new folder called cc4 characters. In your file manager, locate the convey mpc character folder and drag that onto our new folder to import the character. This might take a moment. Once it's done, a window for normal map settings will open. Click on Fix Now, which will fix all of the texture issues. Looking into the Convey MPC folder, we can see that our character has been imported to the project, but it's not yet ready to be imported into the scene. 
For that, click on the Reillusion tab and Import Character. Now click on the character. We can change any of these settings, but for now, we'll leave them as they are. Click on Build Materials next. This will create a prefab that we can import into the scene. Okay, let's create a new scene. Select File and New Scene. Select Convey Scene and click Create. If you get a text mesh prompt, go ahead and click Import TMP Essentials. This should import all the necessary text mesh profiles. Now we can import our character by heading to the Prefabs folder and dragging Convey MPC Kevin into the scene. So it looks like Kevin has been imported successfully without any issues. Let's save the scene into our Scenes folder and we'll call it Convey Reillusion Tutorial Scene. For the next step, click on Add Component and select Convey MPC. We can name our new character by typing Kevin into the character name box. Now we need to add a collider. Click Add Component again and type in and then select Capsule Collider. We'll adjust our collider to set the height as 1.8. Set the radius to 0.3 and the center value of Y to 0.9. Also make sure that is trigger is selected. We'll also add the tag character to our NPC. Finally, we'll need to grab our character ID from the Convey website. You can find that in the character description of your preferred character. Back in Unity, paste that into the character ID field. To make sure that our animations are working correctly, let's use the default animator. Click on the Add button and double click on NPC Animator. Now we are ready to talk to our character. Hi there, what are you doing here? Hey there, I'm just taking some time to relax and enjoy the outdoors. How about you? I'm just enjoying my time talking to you. That's great. It's always nice to connect and chat. What kind of topics are you interested in discussing? Now let's create a new animator and set it with the animations that we imported. We'll create a new folder under Assets called Animators. In that folder, right-click and create a new animator controller. We'll call this Kevin Animator. You can open that up by double-clicking on it. Next, we'll import our animations. These can be found under the Animations folder under the Convey MPC Kevin folder for each animation. We'll import these four animations starting with the Idle animation. Let's rename it to Idle to make it easier to track. Now drag in the Talking animation and we'll rename this one Talking. These two are the base animations that we'll be working with first. Now click on Parameters and choose the plus icon and click on Bool to create a new Boolean variable. Rename this one to Talk. Now we'll need to create a transition from Idle to Talking and another transition from Talking to Idle. Let's make sure that the Idle is the default state by right-clicking and making sure that the Set as Layer default state is grayed out. Click on the left arrow transition and ensure that has exit time is unchecked. Next, click on the plus icon under conditions and ensure that the condition for the talk transition is set to true. For the transition from talking to idle, we'll set the talk transition to false. Make sure to also uncheck has exit time. We also want to ensure that the four animations that we imported have loop time enabled. Also check that the loop pose is checked so that the front and end match each other. Okay, let's head back to the scene and change our character's animator controller to our character animator. Now click play to see if our animations are working. Hey, how's your day going? Hey, my day is going great. Thanks for asking. How about yours? We will now set up the lip sync for our character. We'll first need to set up our character so that the jawbone is free from any animation. To accomplish this, we'll need to find which avatar the character is using. We do that by single-clicking the avatar component in the avatar field. We'll click on the avatar file and then click on configure avatar. This will display the entirety of the avatar. We'll select the head and locate the jawbone mapping. We'll click on this mapping and set it to none. This will free up the jawbone and allow us to control it in the script. Next, we'll click Apply, then we'll head back to the character. We also want to ensure that none of the animations include parameters that may modify the blend shapes. We'll check for that by quickly going through all of the animations one by one and deleting any parameters or curves that correspond to skin mesh renderers. For example, CC Base Body. All of these are skin mesh renderers. We'll delete them and then press Save. We need to go through every one of them. Now that this is done, we are ready to set up lip sync.
For lip sync, we'll move down to the content component and click Add Components. Select lip sync from the options, then click Apply. Next, we will do a quick setup. First, we'll add the three necessary skin mesh renderers. The first will add the head mesh renderer, where we'll add CC base body. Then we'll add the teeth. And then the tongue. Now we will have to add the necessary bones for our character. To do that, we'll click on the target button and click jaw. Jaw root is the jaw that we need. We'll also need to set up the tongue, which is tongue one. Feel free to manipulate these tongue bone offset values if you desire. For the sake of the tutorial, we will stick with the default values. Now we're ready to try out our lip sync. Hey there, how has your day been so far? Hey, my day has been great so far. Thanks for asking. How about yours? Now let's give our characters some extra features. Let's begin with blinking. We'll scroll down to the Convey NPC again. Click Add Component. Now click Blinking and Lip Sync, and then Apply Changes. It's as simple as that to add blinking to your character. Let's press play to try it out. As we can see, our character is looking more and more human. To build further on the character's human-like behavior, we'll give our character the ability to track us with its eyes. We'll scroll down again and click on Add Components. Next, we'll click on Head and Eye Tracking. We'll also select the components we've already set up and then click Apply Changes. We have one more step to get this working. Let's go to the Animator tab and then make sure we are on the Layers tab underneath that. Next, click the Base Layer, then click the Settings icon, and finally select the IK Pass option. Save the animation and then head back to the Scene tab. We are ready to test. Press play and move around the scene with your movement keys. The character will now track your movement with its head and eyes. Finally, let's assign an action to our character that will enable it to execute our orders on demand. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll assign our character a dance move. For a more in-depth tutorial on the subject, please subscribe and watch our featured actions video that explores the full potential of our Character Actions API. To assign our character an action, Let's head to the Animator tab in the top left and add the Dance Audio Clip. The Dance Audio Clip can be found under the Project column in the Animation's Hierarchy under Kevin. Drag that over to the Base layer and then rename the node Dance. Now we'll select Convey NPC Kevin from our Hierarchy and then scroll to the Convey NPC in the Inspector and click Add Components. Make sure to check all of the boxes in the Add Components pop-up and then click Apply Changes. Next, we'll locate this new component that has been added under Convey Actions Handler in the Inspector. This Actions Handler includes several different basic actions, but for now we will only set up the Dance action. Let's select and remove the other basic actions by right-clicking them, and then selecting Delete Array Element from their drop-down menus. Before we are ready to test, we'll need to add Global Action Settings to our character. For this, we will create a new empty game object and name it Convey Action Settings. Then we will add a component to it from the inspector called Convey Interactable Data. This contains all of the global settings, characters, and objects that exist in the scene. Under the Convey Interactable Data, we'll expand the character's hierarchy and click the plus sign twice to add two elements. We'll name the first element Kevin and drag the Convey NPC Kevin into the game object inside the element. Then we'll name the second element player, and this time we'll drag the convey player character into the game object field of the element. We're now ready to test. Let's press the play button. Can you show me a dance? Sure, I can show you a dance. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and importing convey powered reillusion characters and adding special components such as actions and lip sync. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, check out our Discord channel, or you can always email us at support at convey.com.